Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Cancer. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords in the reverse, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is an energy of healing. This is an energy of forgiveness. This is an energy of getting over a severe heartbreak. Let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Two of Wands, Fire Energy, the Two of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and we have the Seven of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So yeah, there's an energy here of moving forward after a heartbreak. With the Two of Wands, you may be exploring your options, seeing what else is out there, or thinking about a strategy on how to move forward within a relationship. There's an openness to moving forward, like it doesn't hurt so much anymore. There's a feeling of being ready to move forward with the seven of pentacles this could be something that didn't happen overnight you know there's an energy of delay moving slowly healing taking your time and finally being ready to um you know to make the best decision for you because there's an energy here that you, there could be two paths that you're taking here with the two of wands you could be choosing to choosing a strategy on how to move forward within the connection or choosing to move on and explore your options elsewhere let's clarify these cards Cancer. Okay, we have the Six of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is an energy of uh, feeling proud of yourself. You know, there's an energy here that you may be making a serious decision that does ultimately reflect your level in self-trust. Let's see. We have the Nine of Wands, Fire Energy, the Death card in the reverse, Scorpio Energy, and the Tower. Mars energy. So with the death card being the reverse and the nine of the nine of wands, it looks like you could be choosing to revisit a connection, like revisit something where you had a tower moment with someone. You could be choosing to heal together. You know, you could be choosing to forgive. Um, there's an energy here of you know giving something one last chance. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you, uh, Cancer. It could be also that someone is giving you one last chance. Okay, we have expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. Okay, we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, we have 
dangerous pleasure. The secret of reaping the greatest fruitfulness and the greatest enjoyment from life is to love dangerously. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Cancer. So we have surrender stubbornness. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. I hope you have a really, really good day, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.